Hey everyone and welcome back to Gaz's Comic Cave. This is the place for your weekly comic news roundup in under five minutes. I just want to say a special thank you to all of you that have been a part of this journey and have been watching all the shows. I appreciate your support. We're now over 250 subscribers, so I'm really happy to have hit that next milestone. Please share these videos with your friends and ask them to subscribe too. But without further ado, let's get into this week's comic news. The top story this week, or at least the one that's made the most industry ripples, was Victoria Alonso, who had been with Marvel Studios for over 17 years. She was just fired. Now, she has said a few controversial things in the past that I don't agree with, like wanting to change the name of the X-Men. While she didn't really understand the brand and what they stood for, but I feel that she's become the scapegoat for all the recent poor Marvel ratings of any Marvel productions, like Ant-Man and Wasp and She-Hulk, etc. In the latest post, I saw it said that she was singularly responsible for the toxic work environment. Now that's just too much to load on one person. Personally, I still love all the content because I can still appreciate it for what it is, the artistic vision of that director. Some drama from DC, and it turns out that Dwayne The Rock Johnson refused Zachary Levy a post credit scene in Black Adam, because that would have tied the two together. He chose rather to go with Henry Cavill Superman, and that's caused a bit of an online feud between the two actors. Unfortunately, James Gunn might be moving on without any of them. I heard that Ron Perlman and Frank Grillo were spotted at a DC premiere, making people think that James Gunn is looking at them for the voices of Frankenstein and Rick Flagg Sr. respectively. I mean, that would be in the upcoming animated series Creature Commandos, and it's set to premiere on HBO Max in 2024 or 2025. The latest DC CW series, Gotham Knights, has not tested very well with critics and audiences. They made a significant change in Batman lore by redesigning the death of Martha and Thomas Wayne, those of Bruce's parents. So while Joe Chill still pulls the trigger, he was only a hired gunman. The hit was actually ordered by the Court of Owls. And that's an interesting take to integrate them into the Bat mythos. Even though Titans is coming to an end, they're going to introduce a very obscure character, Boana Beast. I love it when fringe characters that only comic book geeks know make it into that mainstream media. We also got a look at Robin's new costume for the last part of season four. And oh, I think this has been one of the best DC series. I'm going to miss it. I mean, this is fire. But what do you think of Tim Drake's new costume? Drop a comment below. We found out that the villain for the new animated X-Men series, uh, X-Men 97, will be Mr. Sinister. Everyone's been specking on his arrival and picking up all the cheap copies of his first appearance. I think people were hoping for a proper live action debut though, but now might be a good time to keep an eye on the value of those copies of Uncanny X-Men 221. Well, that's it from me everyone. See you next week for another quick roundup of the latest comic news and thanks for being a part of this awesome channel. We have some exciting news that I'll be announcing soon, so watch this space. Till next time, catch you on the side of the flipping. Okay, bye!